Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Hope you're doing well. I've actually got a lecture right now, so I'm just gonna jump straight into this. So I wanted to talk a bit about the process of getting started and doing the things that you want to do and like going on that process, starting that journey of like what you want to do in life. So let's take an example with the videos I create on this channel. When I started, I didn't really know what videos I wanted to make, right? And I've made a video before about not knowing what I want to create and I talked about how my approach has been to just put stuff out there and put it out into the world. I've always come back to this quote and it's if you wait until you're ready, you'll never get started. I shared this with some creator friends the other day when we was on a Zoom call. Let me actually put this on so you can hear me better. This is a lapel mic, by the way. Okay, that's done. So like I was saying, there's this quote and I heard this a couple years ago now. I saw it on Tyler Baba's Instagram and then I think it was from a YouTube video of his and he shared the quote, which was, if you wait until you're ready, you'll never get started. And it was from like a photographer, which is what he said. And this made me realize this doesn't just apply to like videos, it applies to so many different other aspects of your life and like mainly it's like a broad overall structure of what we want to do with our life. Before I started university, I thought I wanted to go into marketing and that was something that I was interested in, but I was like, I wasn't really sure. I had this possible opportunity to like work a job in marketing, but I, but then I had this other thing of wanting to go to university. So I ended up going to university, which I still do now. I've started university, I'm in my second year now. And I realized not long after starting university, that I had a, I had a massive passion for filmmaking. It's something that I really started exploring. I've been making videos since 2014 and I know I've always been interested in filmmaking. I don't know if I wanted to become a filmmaker, but that's always been something that I've really been interested in. But I feel like more than ever now, it's something that I want to explore even more and like dive into even more. So I'm just trying to go on that process of tasting different things like Gary Vee would say, like just doing different things around filmmaking, trying to learn the craft more, improve my skills. Something that I wanna do more of now, which is client work in terms of making videos, like making videos for clients. It's something that I've explored a couple of times, not a lot, and I've always contemplated if I should do more of that or make more YouTube videos. And what I've realized is I really like both of it. I have no clue what path I wanna go down in terms of something to do with filmmaking. Like I think that's something which I wanna do like, and like explore much more. I want filmmaking to be like something like a big part of my life, I believe. That's what I think anyway, right now, because it's something that I really do enjoy. And yeah, so I just want to learn loads of things. I really just want to do more of it. So I'm going to explore doing more client work. Maybe I'll try working for like a company in terms of filmmaking, like maybe a video production company or maybe like something even like a bigger organization in terms of producing videos and producing films. Yeah, I really don't know. But that, that's why I wanted to like create this. Like I didn't really know where this video was going to go. Like I started filming it this morning and I didn't know what I was going to create. I just had this feeling of I needed to create something. Like yesterday, I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to make a video about. Like I already had a script scripted for a whole video, which I do want to make. And it was a really interesting topic. Um, it's all about like philosophy. I'm not going to get into it. If you want to check it out, it might be on my channel when you're watching this. I was trying to figure out another video because I wanted to like film two videos at once. So I had like more videos filmed. So when it comes to editing, it was easier of like kind of batching tasks because like a big thing that I've heard is that batching things together is more efficient. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to batch write videos and then batch film them and then like edit them over time and just like upload one, one video a week. So I had one video ready, but then I just didn't know what to make the other video. Like I was looking, oh, I have all these ideas and this, and I was like, which one do I want to make? And that's what came back to me today, which was like, anytime I get stuck and not know what to do, I always come back to this quote and just, let me just do something without thinking about too much about it. On my video ideas page on Notion, which is an awesome note-taking app. I actually made a quite a few, few videos about it. I'll link them down below. I have a list of so many things because I've been making videos for so many years. I started this channel mid to late 2017. And over these years, I've explored many different topics on, on this channel. I've done stuff about filmmaking. As I've said before, filmmaking is something I'm interested in. So I made some tutor tutorials back in the day, but then realized I want to focus more on the craft of making videos. And I've done different things. I've done made some videos about basketball and then what got me into this whole personal development kind of thing was a range of different things but one of the videos I made was for like a short film that I made called Life that was like a, probably the first step in that direction of me making videos around personal development also when I started getting into digital organization and that was another big thing that got me more interested in personal development and living more intentionally and that's probably where my channel was guided towards now but yeah I wouldn't have 
figured this th these things out if I didn't get started. Like I started my channel, I was made like a few videos about magic. As you can see, I got playing cards in my hand. It's something I'm really interested in. I was just like making a few vlogs. Um, that's the videos I made a long time ago. I don't think they're anymore on my channel anymore. But that really shows you the power of getting started. And even if you don't get like the numbers you want to get, like say you're aiming for a certain amount of subscribers, like I don't really aim for a certain number of subscribers or a certain amount of views or anything like that. And just doing this has had a lot of positive benefits anyway, even if it hasn't like led to much quote unquote success. I don't know what you can label success as, but I feel like it's been pretty, I've, I've really enjoyed it and I've learned a lot. To me, that's probably pretty successful. I'm still a student, still like got a lot to learn. So I'm not really, I really don't mind that. Like I only have like 600 subscribers or whatever you want to call it. Like I'm more focused on trying to learn and learn filmmaking and get better at making videos, not necessarily just get a load of views and subscribers. Yes, it would be nice if when I'm learning my craft, the, the views and subscribers go up, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'm just focusing on trying to make something, produce output, learn the craft. That's like the priority. And then the other stuff is kind of just like a byproduct of that. And that's why I'm thinking more about like making things like this when I'm just like documenting the journey, documenting my thoughts. What am I learning through doing things like this? I'm thinking of, like I said, I'm thinking of doing more client work and I want to share that process with you. So that's kind of linking back to what I said of maybe I'll share some stuff about filmmaking. Maybe it will be more about what I learned from doing that. So maybe I learned, oh, this is a really cool process in Notion that I've used with clients. How am I going, how do I do that? Let me share that with you. But yeah, that, that, that's just some thoughts about um, getting started. I'm actually doing a talk in the evening today um, about photography and um, just like sharing the things that I've learned from like getting my first photography client. That's something that I've learned through like approaching clients and doing that kind of thing. I am the president of the society, so I had a big role in organizing stuff, uh, something I'm doing tonight. It kind of links to what I'm saying here because I was planning the event earlier and a big quote that I wanted to share was one that I said here which is if you wait until you're ready you'll never get started yeah that's what made me think of just making something like this and putting I don't know these random thoughts out thanks a lot for watching I hope you did enjoy the video make sure to like subscribe all that algorithm friendly stuff the wind is opening the door that is fine thanks a lot for watching subscribe like all that kind of stuff and I'll see you guys soon